Hi everyone. Now we learn how we can call functions on button click in Angular. See, functions and buttons are very important and basic thing of a project. So let's say you want to submit a form or you want to make a login or sign up functionality. In these cases, we need buttons. And let's say you want to call API, you want to change some values or you want to implement some logic. That, that time we need functions. So both are very important. And in this part, we learn how we can use uh, buttons and functions. So first of all, we will make a button then uh, we will define a function also and we'll see how we can call a function on button click and we'll also see how we can call a function from another function and at last we'll discuss some important interview question also all right so now let's move to the code and there i am going on app.component.html file and there i'll i'll define a button there and there i'm putting a text for button let's say click me and now you can see that on ui we have a button so on this button, we want to call a function, but where we have to define a function inside the TS file. So let's open app.component.ts file. And there I'm making a function, apple, like this. So will it work? Actually, no. See, when we are making uh, functions in core JavaScript, we define functions like this. But when we make functions inside class or in TypeScript, we don't need to use this function keyword so you can remove it after that this function will work so inside this I'm making an alert and let's say uh, let me change this function name also and function name is handle click event and there let me put there uh, a text function called you want to format this text you can and now let's call this function on the button click so you can copy or you can write this uh, function name inside the click event and now how we can define a click event with a button so just use the round braces then put the click or whatever event you want to uh, use there and then equal to and your function name in the string or in the double quotes you can say that so either you can copy this or either you can just type this and after this, that don't put the function braces, these round braces. And now go to the UI and click on the button. And here you can see that function called. Perfect. So now let's go back there and let me change this alert with the console.log. And I'm putting there again function called. So now let's say you have one more function, right? And this function name is anything other function. Keep in mind whenever you will define the function there don't put function keyword and then use the function braces and let me alert there or let me console.log there other function like this so now if you want to call this function this is very simple you can just ch uh, change the function name there and now if, if you'll click there you can see that other function is getting called perfect so let me just undo this code but let's say I want to call this function from click event, uh, handle click event function. Then how you can do that? Just if you just paste and put the round braces there, it will not work. Because see, maybe you think there we are calling this function with the same way, uh, like function name and then braces, then same way will work there also. No, if you are calling this function from the another function of same class, then you have to put there this keyword. This means this uh, current class, in which these functions are defined right so this and then uh, you can say that your function name so function name is basically other function like this and now if i just click you will see we got we will get the two consoles here you can see that function call and uh, another function other function so this is how we can uh, implement or you can say that uh, call a function from another function also so i hope you get to know how click event work in uh, angular and how we can call a function if you still have any doubt confusion you can ask me in the comment section please like this video subscribe my channel add your feedback in comment section this is my paytm and google pay number thanks guys